So, watch this segue. Blue Beetle is blue, right? Now, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about a red one. (laughs) Because... (laughs) Stop. (laughs) Because <laughs> I'll let you, I'll let you eat everything, everything, everything. <laughs> okay. Oh, for those that don't yeah. know, Venom released a new trailer for Venom: Let There Be Carnage. Now, we mildly enjoyed the first trailer, and I'm trying to remember if Josh enjoyed the first Venom or not. I thought it was, it was the Transformers of superhero movies. It was mindless fun. Yeah. Um, but oh my gosh, this has to be one of the most fun trailers I've seen in quite a while, and also just. I'm trying to think of how best to describe it other than chaotic fun. I just had this like maniacal grin on my face the entire time I watched the trailer for the first time. Just going, holy crap, you've nailed the tone for what this needs to be. Because we continue this Venom, Eddie dynamic of we just hate each other, but we'll tolerate each other because we need each other. But then the Carnage stuff is terrifying. Like, I love horror just as much as the next guy. I definitely screamed, I definitely like curled up in my seat a little bit when Carnage literally just sticks a tendril down a guy's throat. I'm going. It's his tongue, bro. I'm going. <laughs> Watch it again. That's his tongue that he's killing that man with. It's all kind of the same with Carnage. Tongue, I mean, tendril, yeah, and it's all the same. I'm going, like, oh, that's amazing. Uh, but when he breaks out of prison uh, and he's just like towering over everybody and the bullets are just going through him going, that's Carnage. Also, good job. Uh, whether it was a bad job in the first trailer or a good job here of making Carnage more red, because mm-hmm. you can clearly tell this time around that it's Carnage. Um, holy crap. Now, before I toss it over to Josh, again, the hardest I've laughed in a trailer in a very long time is, oh, uh, oh, shit. Where, where, where do you go? Where'd you go? That is a red one. Like the way he says it, I die laughing. <laughs> Also, I sent the meme to Josh, but one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, 3C Films, great, great, go check him out. He always does a goofy intro, and so he did his reaction and breakdown to Venom. At the beginning, it's Venom watching the Clifford trailer, and it shows Clifford, and he goes, oh, that is a red one. (laughs) That's great. I I think I popped the hardest outside of those, those moments. Was when the first time he, they they actually let him transform into Carnage on screen in the trailer, and I was like, Whoa. I love, I love that transformation Whoa. so much because and he like, oh dude, he like melts into it. And it's, yeah, oh, I loved it because dude. it's it's not like the suit's overtaking it like Venom does. It's not like a protective shielding. It's like his body is morphing into this other being. I'm going, I'm terrified. And a little bit giddy. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like the the current, and I like it that the what is his what is the line that Woody gives? Um, I've tasted blood at Amy Brock, and that was not it. <laughs> Which I well, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of that line because I'm just going. I love it. All of us have kind of tasted blood at one point or another. Um, yeah, we all know but, what blood tastes but, like. But, but, but it <laughs> means something because he's a serial killer. Also. And so, uh, I never would have guessed how much changing someone's hair would make a world of difference because he doesn't have the stupid clown fro anymore. and yeah. He actually looks terrifying. Um, also, when he says the it's a red one and he's like, I'll let you eat everybody. Was it just me or did that? Oh, yeah. Sound like a combination of the Kool-Aid man yes. and Leroy Jenkins. It yes. was just like, I'm going in. Oh, yeah. I don't know, like, cause he like, he turns, okay, here we go. <laughs> it was like, okay. And now the only thing that I have is I'm imagining this venom with Tom against Tom Holland. Oh, Tom Holland is not Tom. Is and I'd a be bad like, day. I'll be like, I'm here for this interaction. Absolutely. Like that's the kind of venom that I want in Tom Holland's world. But I saw somebody post and it's completely true. If Tom Holland faced off against this carnage, he does not stand a chance. I love Tom, not. but he's dying. Holy crap, this guy is terrifying. Uh, I think it's also kind of concerning, but not surprising, that when this trailer debuted, it does not say coming September 24th. It says coming this fall, which kind of leads some people to think that maybe we might be in for a second wave of delays because people are stupid and sh- yeah. Just doing stupid shenanigans to ruin everything for everybody else. It's 
it's it's like a group project. Everyone, some people do all the work, and everyone else expects everything to be just fine because some people do all the work. Um, I hope this doesn't get delayed because if that gets delayed, then other things get delayed. Some people are speculating that that's why we haven't gotten a Spider-Man trailer yet is because Sony's worried about it getting delayed. I'm going, please don't get delayed because I know if this gets delayed, it'll get moved down to the December slot where Spider-Man is now, and Spider-Man will move from the December slot to the Uncharted slot in March, and Uncharted will get delayed yet again, just like I had to move for stupid Camila Cabello's movie. Um, why would, uh, why would, uh, these movies move? Like, why would you, why couldn't you have Venom and Spider-Man in the same month? Are you trying to say they might be connected? No, you're just reading too much into it. I think okay. it's because so <laughs> it's because notice how Sony has yet to release a movie in the pandemic. They want everything That's back fair. to normal, and I think That's they have fair. a very specific schedule. It's not so much a they have to come out in this order because Mo- Morbius is supposed to come out. I think in January. Like I think they're just pushing everything back. I don't think it's a specific order that they need to come out in. I think it's Sony just going. We need the world to be back to normal so we can maximize theater profits now we bag on sony before but at least they're smart enough to realize oh we need the theaters unlike you know bald mr clean over at disney it's not a little redundant to call him bald mr bald mr clean but whatever i was like is it mr clean already bald, um, imagine mr clean with a mullet um honestly yeah no I, all of a sudden randomly i need a, a version of mr clean that's like super hillbilly has like a mullet and he's like, yeah, like just like Dukes of Hazard all need, over cleaning products. I need Mr. Clean to fight to the death with the brawny man. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> now.